WWJ News Time 333. Stressful times, of course, for parents juggling work from home and helping their kids with online learning. Sharon Raglan Keys from College Nannies, Sitters, and Tutors joins us on our live line right now with some advice that may be able to help you navigate uh, these very difficult times. Sharon, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I guess it's probably pretty obvious, but how come families are under so much stress right now? Families are under stress because this is a strange time for parents. It feels like we have so much extra time without activities and much of a social calendar. But at the same time, you know, we we feel busier than ever. And that's because we are home all day with our kids and all of our normal systems are unavailable to us. So it's normal to feel exhausted and stressed. You're putting a lot of emotional energy into processing your life and setting up new systems. And there was a recent survey um, for parents, and they were feeling stressed at home. 61% said they had yelled or screamed at their kids at least once since hunkering down in their homes. But make sure you're giving yourself a lot of space and understanding during these stressful times and you know working from home alone or helping your children with online teaching you take just one of those and it could be quite stressful but when you combine them that's a very tough combination isn't it it really is yes so what kind of steps can parents take to maybe reduce some of the stress on the family you know they should start small don't try to do it all at once When it comes to remote learning, many teachers are providing additional resources and optional activities, and the key word is optional there. Figure out what works best for your student and your family and set small, realistic goals. You know, diversify screen time. This is not the time to get hung up on the amount of time your kids are in front of the screen. They will undoubtedly be in front of screens more than they typically are, but try diversifying what screen times include. Check out some nature doc- documentaries, learning games, and virtual tours, and maybe make a video chat with grandma and grandpa who can read them a chapter of a book each day, but also they can get help. If it works for your family, getting outside help can be a game changer. At College Nannies, we are waiving enrollment fees for essential workers, and we're also helping a lot of families while parents are home. We're able to provide a regular caregiver who can be invited into family social distance circle to help with remote learning and child care so parents can focus on work. And we are emphasizing the stress on parents, but children are used to learning in a classroom environment and learning remotely on a computer is very different. What do you tell those young people that maybe are stressing out because it's such a new adventure for them? Absolutely, so start by creating structure for the day, you know, where will you study? The couch or kitchen table may not be the best places because of distractions. What time will you participate in remote learning? This may also be flexible based on parents' work schedule. But also at college tutors, we can we can assist with virtual tutoring. In addition to the actual lesson plans, we are helping students set up structure for their day. And summertime, of course, right around the corner, it's going to make things different. The kids will technically not be in school in the summertime, but many parents may still be at home. Any uh, words of wisdom to help as the new season comes in? (laughs) It may not sound like a positive, but it really is. You know, we can use this time as an opportunity to to teach our kids how to fail. Failure is, is an important part of learning. But many kids don't see it that way. They shut down or get frustrated. But we can talk to our kids and let them know this is something completely new, and we're all going to work together as a family. If it's okay, we have days that aren't great, um, but, you know, we can try again the next day. And we can also model that while working at home, if a meeting doesn't go well or technology causes headaches, we can use that as an example. So now is an awesome opportunity to show students how to emotionally be vulnerable and deal with negative emotions in a positive way. Sharon Raglan Keys from College Nannies, Sitters and Tutors. Thank you so much for joining us here this afternoon, offering some advice that I'm sure many families can put to good use. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you so much.